So this time around, I want to talk about components and props or properties. But the first thing I want to do is a little bit of cleanup. So I'm looking at my index.js file right now, and you can see we have an extraneous div. I'm going to get rid of that because I don't need it anymore. And I also want to create another component. We have right now our main app component, and that is the parent to an app component right here on line 17, and another app component called app footer on line 19. Now what I'm going to do is create another one called app header. So I'll go to my source folder and create a new file called app header.js. And inside of that, I'll do what I've done before. So we'll go to app header and we'll create, well, let's just copy and paste, save a little bit of time. So I'll copy all of this and go back to app header, paste it in, fix the name to app header. We don't have CSS for it, so I'll get rid of that. And I'll make this return nothing more than an H1. It's like this. H1. And what do we call it in index.js? Hello world. So we'll use that for right now. Hello world, like that. And I actually don't need the fragment tags because I'm not returning a fragment, which means I don't need to import it which means that's pretty much ready to go. So let's go back to index.js and import app header. So here, import app header from dot slash app header right there. And we'll use it right here like this. Delete that app header. And we'll format things a little bit better like this. So that should all work. Now, if I go back to make sure that this is actually rendering properly, I'll switch to my browser and that looks great. Okay, so we have everything working the way that we want. Now I wanna talk about properties. I said a while ago that a lot of what you do in React is to build reusable components. And the problem is that my app header is actually got a title hard coded in it. And I wanna fix that and I'm gonna fix it by passing a property to the component. And it's as simple as this. What do I want to call the property? Equals, and we'll call this my app, a different title, just so we know that it's going to work. So that is a property that is now available to app header. So let's go to app header. How do I get access to that property? First of all, I don't need this, so let's delete it. How do I get access to that? Well, we can actually do it like this. We can just say, get rid of hello world and re replace that with a variable inside of curly brackets, the same way we use with variables. And we call this dot props dot whatever I called it. And I called it title. So if I save that, I've actually have access to this title variable as part of a props objects on the current item called this if I go back to my web browser now and reload it, I have my app, which was passed as a property to that component, app header. So if I go back to my code and go back to index.js and call this instead cool app with an exclamation and save it and go back to my web browser and reload this page, it automatically updates it. So that's how we pass properties. And we can pass as many as we want, but it gets kind of awkward to pass things like title and then subject equals something and then whatever it may be. If I have 25 things I want to pass there, of course, this is a really inefficient way of passing lots of information. So in the next lecture, we'll look at how we can pass content in a slightly more intelligent fashion.